we, we're going to hear from, from Chris Ford. So Chris took over as CEO of the Association of Enterprise Architects in 2016. He's based in Shanghai, China, and he also holds the post of General Manager Asia Pacific for the Open Group. As well as business functions in that region, Chris is Vice President of Enterprise Architecture and has global responsibility for EA activities at the Open Group, including the TOGAF and Archimate standards. Chris has held various leadership roles throughout his career, including implementing and managing EA practices, application development, information management, and technology operations teams. So a uh, warm virtual welcome from the Open Group for uh, Chris Ford. Tell us about the AEA, please. Well, uh, good day, everybody, uh, wherever you are in the world. My name is Chris Ford. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for the Association of Enterprise Architects. And today I'm going to take you through a look at uh, our 2020, 2021 activities and plans. You have my contact information here on this uh, screen, um, but you can also find me and uh, my staff on LinkedIn as well, if you want to reach out that way. So let's move on. Now, the Association of, a, of Enterprise Architects is a professional community for enterprise architects globally. And we're looking to support our members in development of credibility, recognition, and delivery of benefits through that international community of professionals. So we wanna have uh, enterprise architects recognized as valued professionals, both by enterprises and by society. And in the establishment of a professional organization, one of the con considerations and criteria is the impact on society. Now, our mission uh, revolves around three major points. That is delivering mentoring support to members throughout their entire career, uh, providing governance for the profession as a whole, including the specializations of the practice of architecture. Now, there's a lot of discussion about uh, something, something architecture or whatever it is in terms of the naming or the job roles. But uh, from my perspective, um, that's not a hierarchy. It is really a set of knowledge, skills and experience and a category of areas that people generally choose to go into and specialize in. We also are uh, fostering an ecosystem for the development and education, recruitment, and you know, the full use of an enterprise architect's uh, knowledge, skills, and experience. Our organizational goals revolve around, as I said earlier, uh, emphasizing the credibility, recognition, and community aspects of the profession. So advancing the professional excellence of our members, uh, raising the status of the profession and the individuals practicing, uh, and providing a line of sight to the accomplishments that uh, our members can deliver. And then increasing opportunities of value for the AEA and its members. And obviously, again, providing a worldwide network for, uh, for the community. So there are a number of things that the AEA uh, delivers in terms of its value proposition in, uh, from a product perspective. We organize around typically geographical areas of chapters, uh, groups of individuals in a particular area or region that come together. Um, of course, until quite recently, that was frequently on a face-to-face -face basis, but uh, we've had for an extended period of time, a virtual meeting capability that's available to our members and the chapters. We also published the preeminent enterprise architecture journal, the journal of enterprise architecture from the Association of Enterprise Architects and access to that journal uh, is free to members. We have the uh, global AEA website. Uh, we do provide events and webinars. And uh, most recently, uh, relative to the website, we've launched a new career center, which I'll go into in a little bit more detail on subsequent slides. So the aspirations for the organization, uh, uh, you know, market growth, uh, growth of, in the recognition of the brand of the AEA and developing uh, ecosystems of partners and competitors. So the, the partner angle comes in here as I'm speaking to you at a TOGAF user group and an Archimate user group. 
with the open group. Um, the partnership with the open group allows people who become certified in TOGAF to opt in to a free membership in the AEA for the first two years subsequent to your um, passing and downloading your TNLA agreement. You get an opt-in option. And there's no trick here, it genuinely is free to you, okay? So if you've been certified in the last two years in, uh, in TOGAF, and you may have clicked through that opt-in button, um, please contact us and let us know if you wanna pick up your membership. Now, we do have this chapter structure that I mentioned before. Um, we wanna ex expand governance within the AEA community uh, beyond chapters, and I'll discuss that a little bit in, uh, in a subsequent slide. And then from a profession standpoint, dealing with development, accreditation, and certification for, uh, for people. So in 2020, 2021, um, in 2020, we launched a brand new career center. Uh, that is a, a link from the global AEA.org website. In uh, the last quarter of this year and into next year, we'll be doing a uh, complete website refresh. We will be delivering a mentoring program to put interns and resources of experienced people together. And we will we'll be establishing and hiring a, uh, a replacement editor for the JEA, the Journal of Enterprise Architecture. And uh, we expect to be doing much more work with uh, our partners and chapters uh, on mission, vision, promotion, and increasing uh, you know, involvement of volunteers. With uh, the chapter reference I made earlier, in a few uh, instances, we actually have national structures that are organizing our, uh, for the profession. And in the development of profession, you normally are working within the legal uh, and regulatory framework of a particular country, of course. And so we need to look forward to aligning on that basis. Uh, we've got quite a ways to go on that for the entire organization, but that is um, a priority topic for us. Now, if you go to the link at the top here, careers at globalaea.org, we've recently launched a career center uh, this is the landing page for it. It's uh, a, a pretty nice capability. Given that we are an organization uh, dedicated to the promotion of, a, of enterprise architecture and uh, professions who uh, practice that architectural capability, we've uh, got a very nice new job and career center capability on the website that I would encourage you to see. So what's involved in the career center? Well, there are features that deal with uh, career resources. Uh, employers can post and distribute their jobs to target uh, places. Job seekers can uh, get on the site, look for those jobs. Uh, it will feature EA jobs, of course, but it's not just restricted to those. And um, you can upload your resumes as an individual, as a job seeker, get a review, and get some career coaching. So this is a really uh, nice capability. I really encourage you guys to uh, go out there to the website and uh, look, at, look at it. So this is not only for individual job seekers, but again, also for employers or practice leads who are looking for enterprise architects to uh, post those opportunities. Now, one of the other activities that's been going on throughout the year is a series of webinars based around some research that we've had on an ongoing basis with the uh, McKinsey folks and with the Henley Business School. It's a survey on current practices in EA uh, around digital transformation and sustainable enterprises. And you can see the survey link here. Um, the topic is based on insights from recent survey data, uh, including EA's roles in building digital platforms and Members of the AEA have participated in this ongoing survey activity for the past five years. So it's a very rich source of information. Now, we've been conducting interactive webinars, uh, and those recorded webinars are available on demand. And the consolidated output of the survey activity and the webinar activity 
is going to be published later this year in a special edition of the JEA during the fourth quarter. So hopefully you should be able to look at that. And if you're a member, you'll be able to get direct access to the JEA as it's published uh, each quarter and download the information. So to just kind of wrap up and remind you of what we've covered here very briefly, would encourage you uh, to join the AEA. Um, you can do so directly with any certification program through globalaea.org. You can uh, hopefully take time to visit our career center at careers.globalaea.org. Browse jobs, upload your resumes, and hopefully we'll find an increasing number of employers that can post jobs. Uh, as I say that, it may sound like there aren't jobs on there already, but there as are. I say that, it may sound like there aren't jobs so, on there already, um, but there are. You can also, of course, uh, join a chapter for those that are existing. And if you're interested in forming a chapter in the area that you are in, I mean, the geographic area, then please contact us on uh, through the uh, chapter section of the AEA website. Read the Journal of the uh, Enterprise Architecture. Uh, and if you want, contact us and author an article, submit your proposal. And um, you can uh, request a digital credential for an, as an attendee or speaker uh, of uh, the Open Groups event this week or for this TOGAF and Archimate user group through Open Badges at globalaea.org. And that is uh, and that all I have to cover today. Unfortunately, I'm going to probably be on the plane Unfortunately, after you guys view this, and I won't be available to answer any questions directly. But as I said, you can reach me at my uh, email address and uh, or through LinkedIn to do any follow-up. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to listen to me today. Very much indeed for taking the time.